this is an example of a questionnaire Q method that we, you need to perform with the interviewees in the Sukhus lab. Okay, so first you need to be prepared. You need to have a, a mobile where you can put the coordinates of the respondent house and you need to be charged. Okay, so you need a, a mobile with the Google Maps, okay, where you can find yourself where you are and where is the house of the person. Second, you need to have a questionnaire in A form. The Q questionnaire, it suits very well into just two pages, the front and the back. And you need to have a copy of these in order to fulfill the answers of the response. And I advise you to have a plastic, plastified uh, form in A3 so that you can put in front of the questionnaire uh, so that it can respond with post-its. Finally, you buy these post-its in different colors and you number them from 1 to 2 8. And then one last column with a V means true, because there is one question that you need to respond with a V. Okay, that's clear. So let's try to exemplify now the questionnaire. I'm going to, first, I need to present the questionnaire with a letter that uh, our colleague Fabiana shown you in order that he's agree, uh, he or she agrees to so that we can use the data for the purpose of the uh, LOVRA uh, questionnaire. After doing that, you have your questionnaire in paper and the questionnaire has in front of him or her the classified copy of the questionnaire in uh, two pages. So let's put the first. So the first question I'm asking, if you, if you look at here, is the survey. It's me. Thomas. Okay. Second, what is the municipality we are asking? Let us put us here the uh, suku of uh, Ailor and uh, the aldea of La Cluta, for instance, and the date today is the uh, fifth, no, the twenty-sixth of May. 2022. Okay? Then I ask the, the person if he or she participated in the focus group. And he said no. Fabiana, Fabiana, no, uh, Karina here did not participate in the Kovaca meeting. Then I'm going to the Google Maps and I identify where are uh, where is the place in the Google Maps? And I look at the I look at the coordinates uh, in the Google Maps. You point, uh, you, you press it a little bit, and then you have the indications of the uh, coordinates. Here is where I am: 33, 33, 36. Point eight, seven, and minus twenty-seven point twenty four nine. Okay, and I sign here that yes, we have the already asked the questionnaire to respond to the questionnaire. If he agrees that we use the data collected within the questionnaire. So once this is done, we can move into the questionnaire itself. First question is about, uh, I ask, please order the following hazards for your according, uh, to your, according to you, your elements. And I, I give, please, here are uh, floods, landslides, erosion, extreme winds, droughts, hazards, and uncontrolled fires. Please tell me what is more dangerous for you. 
Uh, maybe it's closed. Well, okay. So you and I put here in the in the flat area one the signal one in the in front of the flat. Okay. Then I ask. Okay, what is the second one for you? The second mode entrance. Uh, Landslides, erosion, extreme winds, drop hazards, or uncontrolled fires. Draw hazards. Draw hazards. Okay, very well. And then you put here the draw hazards here, the second one. Okay, it's there. The second one is our path. Very well. Then please tell me the third one. The third is landslides. Landslides. Very well. I I put here landslides. Very good. The fourth? Um, uncontrolled fires. Uncontrolled fires. Okay, that, that was not even a good third. third. That's un I put two in the, in the wrong one. I put here the drops. And the uncontrolled fires is here. Very well. And then the fifth? Um, erosion. Erosion. Very well. Erosion. And the last is extreme wind. And the last one is extreme wind. Okay. Very well. So, and we got this answer. Okay. So it's very easy now for you to fulfill your form. So you put one, three, five, six. Two and four. And this is the first question. Okay? Now we move to the second question. And the question is about please order the importance of the following assets and service for you. And you have the houses, agriculture fields, livestock, forests, roads, water supply, energy supply, health and post school. Health posts and school. Okay? Please, what is the more important for you? The houses. Okay, we've got to put here the house. And then the second one? Water supply. Water supply. Okay, there. Third? Energy supply. Energy supply. Very well. Where is the energy supply here? Okay. And agricultural fields. Agricultural fields is number four. Agricultural fields here. The second one. Okay. Then livestock. Yeah, livestock. Fifth. Livestock, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, health, health courses and schools. Health courses and schools, okay, there. Then forests. Then forests, it is number seven here. Okay. Ten roads. And ropes, number eight. Okay. Very well. So, this is the result in the second uh, answer uh, question. And uh, now, once more, it is easier for us to fulfill the form. It is one, four, five, seven, eight, two, Three, six. Very well. We move on and then we ask the third question. Third question is blank. Please rank what are your more likely reactions to an asset. Do nothing. Migrate to other places. Ask for support from the authorities. Mobilize local means or move to safer locations within the soup. Then once more we ask the question E. What is the, what do you expect to do yourself if something strange happens? Uh, mobilize my family support. Mobilize my family support. Very well. And second. Uh, move to safer locations. Move to safer locations. Okay, this is the second. Yeah. The third one. The last one. Yeah. And then. Um, mobilize the local means. Mobilize local means. Okay. Ask for support from the board. Ask for support from the board. 
authorities with wealth. Migrate to other places. Migrate to other places, five. And do nothing. Okay, and do nothing. Very well. Okay, and then we have here the third question answered by the questionee uh, ranking the more likely actions she, she or he will take if some there's hazard happens. And once more, I go here to the questionnaire, to the form, and to six, five, four, three, one, two. The last question from this type of questions is the what? Do. So, moving to the four, fourth question, it's about what we expect or what the questionnaire expects from the call authorities to react to an answer. And we have six alternatives. There is no, we don't expect interference from the, the government, from the authorities. We expect that they regulate the management of common assets. Uh, we expect they forbid location of these assets in risky areas. We expect that they provide subsidies and mater on materials to repair what was damaged. We expect that they will rebuild the, the assets themselves, or we expect that they strengthen the, uh, the disasters preparedness so that we are aware what can happen. So I ask the, the lady, what, what is the third thing that we expect from the government? Rebuild the damaged assets. Rebuild the damaged assets, very well. Second, provide subsidies and materials. Provide subsidies and materials. Okay. Um, Strategic disasters preparedness. Third. Is the last one. Yeah, okay. Mm. Regulate the man management of common assets. Regulate the management of common assets, okay. Permitted the location of assets. Okay. And no political interference. Okay, very well. So I have, I have now the last, uh, the last or the fourth question, the three answer. And uh, I can also put in the form six, four, five, two, one, two. Very well. So the form is fulfilled. Now notice if you have a postage, you can just fulfill when this first part is finished. But if you have cards, it's better if you fill one by one, question one, question two, question three, and question four, because your cards will be will go with the wind. Okay, now we ask, we come for the second part of the questionnaire, which is in the other side, and I put this in front of the person that I'm interviewing, and I ask the first uh, question. Okay, please tell me uh, uh, how vulnerable you are. You are very high vulnerable, High vulnerability, medium vulnerability, low vulnerability, or very low vulnerability. And you put a, a V uh, here on what you think regarding the hazards, that natural hazards that can happen. I think medium. Hmm? I think medium. Right? Medium vulnerability. Okay, so medium. Okay. Very good. So, and you have the answer. And uh, I put here the answer, medium V, medium V. And then I have another question there that tells you about uh, what is your capacity, capacity to react to your own capacity. And the, the question, do you think that you can react? You have, you have high capacity to react, medium, well, uh, medium or very low capacity. Another question. You, um, you, the same, but not regarding vulnerability, regarding your capacity to. Uh, I think it's high. High capacity to react. So. Okay. And in the question of high capacity to react, which is another question that will be in your form, uh, uh, we, I put here this V, and once more I put V here. Okay. Now, then I have the. Uh, uh, 
the answers that are, I can fulfill directly, which somehow tells what type of person keeping the, uh, the data uh, without, uh, uh, well, just for the purpose of the project and without naming the person, what are your dead features? And I put about age, 30, 30, 30 of age, years of education, 10 years. No, 17, because you have PhD, yes. Number of ages. No, 10, 7 years. You are female. Do you speak tattoo and tone? No. 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 Uh, zero. What is your daily income in dollars? I don't know. $20. $20. Do you have a car? No. No. Zero. No. Uh, do you have a motorbike? No. No. Are you a farmer, a government officer or other? I'm a government officer. You are a government officer. Where do you live? In the hill, in the plain or uh, in the coast? In the coast. You live in the coast. Two. How many... What is the time to reach uh, your capital by transportation? Um, two hours. Two hours. What is uh, the... How many minutes do you take to reach the market in your place? Uh, ten minutes. Ten minutes. How many people live with you, including you? Uh, two. Two. What do you have, if you have a, a area of, for agriculture? How many hectares do you have? No. No zero. If you have cows or buffaloes, no zero. If you have goats or sheep, no. no. Okay. So this is the six question, the seven, six question here. We move on. So your house is in concrete in wood, in iron, or in a palm trunk? It's in wood. It's in wood, your mind. B. Your roof is in palm leaves, in uh, grass, or in uh, zinc, or in bamboo, or what? Zinc. Zinc, okay, C. So, do you have access to your house in paved roads? Yes. One. You have or non paved roads for car? Yes, this is the. Uh, you have you have access to your place with roads, but non paved. No, no, because no. you have paved. Okay. Uh, we do you have in house uh, public water supply? Yes. Okay. You have in house public electrification? Yes. You have schools within your uh, four kilometers of yes. your house. Right? And you have an health post within four kilometers. Yes. yes. Okay, very good. So let me, the last question is about your memory of assets. So we have floods and slice erosion, extreme winds, droughts and deserts. Do you, do you remember any of these in the, in the past? Yeah, I remember. What? Uh, floods. Floods, okay. That affect your sukuk, your village? Yes. Yeah. And your assets, your yes or no? Uh, your no. no. What is the year of the flood? Uh, 2020. 2020. There were losses in life? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Uh, question mark. Do you estimate the losses? Mm, your, no. Your financial losses? No. How long did it take to, receive, to recover? Uh, one week. One week. Do you remember any more uh, disasters? Mm, nearly no. Okay, very good. So that's it. That's finished. So we have the form. We can uh, then put out the sticks or the cards out of these for another questionnaire. And we say thank you very much uh, to you. And uh, I hope that uh, you live well in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.